Okay, we're back again, Miss Amanda and I, and this time we're checking out In the Beginning Fabrics with Jason, and he's going to be telling you some of the fabrics that are going to be available in your local quilt shop. So Jason, Hi. thank you. Oh, my pleasure. The first thing we're going to show here is a collection called Circa 1825. This is a collection we're doing in conjunction with the American Quilt Study Group. Uh, they're a group across the U.S. who um, works on studying textiles, um, fabrics, and quilt history. So part of the proceeds from this collection will go to them. Um, this collection is coming out in April, so very soon. Um, all of our collections either have a book or a free pattern handout that go with them. And so for this collection, this quilt here is one of the free pattern handouts. And then there's also a larger quilt here that's more of a bed size quilt that would be available. And those are all available as PDFs on our website, um, in thebeginningfabrics.com, they're free. And so then here are some of the actual fabrics. And one of the nice things about this collection is these are authentic reproduction fabrics. So there's one color in each print that was the authentic fabric that came from the antique quilts. So like on this one, this pretty border print, this is exactly the colorway it was printed back in the mid 1800s. Um, and so then some of the different prints um, that come with the group, again, like on this one, this was also one of the authentic colors that came. So this lets quilt historians who like to collect, you know, authentic pieces, um, lets them do that. So like I said, this one's coming in April. These are the ones that I like. <laughs> Don't you know? <laughs> yeah, it's a very pretty group. It's been doing very, very well for us. And these are available in the, April? These will be available starting in April in, in local independent quilt shops. Okay. Yeah, across, across the U.S. Uh, another collection that we're working on is called Abundance. This is one that I designed. Um, so this, again, this shows the free pattern handout. Um, so it's kind of a, this will be available in August, so it's kind of a harvesty, but more with fruits and stuff rather than the wheat, um, things that a lot of people think of with harvest. But um, like it has a real rich, yeah, rich yeah, it has colors. a real deep, yeah, like you say, deep colorway. Mm -hmm. um, this, this collection will come in two different colors, so there's kind of a, a dusty teal background for this one. And then the other colorway we're offering um, is a taupe, taupe colorway, and then like a real deep aubergine and purple background. Um, and so this too has been doing, doing really well for us. Like I say, these are coming out in August. One of the new artists that our company is working with is called Audrey Jean, and her first group is called Renunculus Floral. <laughs> and so this is a really pretty group. It's kind of a 40s color, but mixed with her real whimsical painting style. So this shows the free pattern handout, which is kind of a take on the basket, you know, a basket quilt mixed with a nine patch. And so it comes in kind of a variety of colors, um, but the whole line coordinates. Um, so you can mix and match, you know, however you want. Um, there's a really nice stripe. Uh, there's kind of an all-over print that you can see in three different colors that actually has the birds on it. There's a smaller, um, smaller floral print and then some really fun like chevron go-withs and kind of a double wedding ring go-with. Yeah, and so that's Audrey Jean. She's um, uh, mainly been in the gift market, so she's done like a lot of greeting cards, wrapping paper, things like that. And so this is kind of her first entry into the quilting market, so we're really excited. Um, and Those again, are so fun. Yeah, they are fun, aren't they? And they're, so they're coming in July. That's when they'll, they'll be available. Another new group, this is by an artist that we've worked with quite a few times before. Her name is Julie Pashkis. Um, she's actually a children's book illustrator. She does a lot of children's oh. folk books, folk stories. Oh, okay. um, this one is called Kalinka, and it's actually a, a winter group that she's done. Here you can see the uh, pattern handout. So this one, this is going to be um, the main piece, which is a panel. So this, each of these squares is actually 10 inch square. So this has just been, you know, reduced down to fit on a photocopy. Um, so this is the panel piece. Then there's a border print showing the Russian nesting dolls. There's an all over print, uh, kind of with the dolls scattered. 
um, a real pretty ribbon stripe. And then Julie's also known for doing paper cut, and so she's oh, done some paper okay. cut um, type prints. Um, this kind of shows the scale of the tree, but it's going to have a really cool all over look, okay. um, the actual repeat. So these will be coming in June. Those are fun, aren't they, Amanda? Yeah, people really, especially with the, um, the Winter Olympics having been in Russia, they kind of, you know, this is um, kind of going playing off that. Uh, and again, the, the free pattern handout's really nice, kind of shows how you could use the panel squares in a quilt. Another one of my collections is called The Magic of Winter. So each year I do one winter group. Um, and this one has a, um, it's a kind of a, not really a block of the month, but uh, we've set it up as kind of a four month program that uh, where you could do a section each month of the quilt and oh, it's, okay. it's a sampler quilt okay. so it comes in a red red and green colorway with gold highlights or uh, blue and green with silver highlights and um, so these are the two quilts that will be in the book and then the actual fabrics are these we also mocked up a, a Christmas tree skirt that you could do uh, using the fabrics so this oh. is the red and green colorway. So this kind of shows the border print. Uh -huh. um, and so it repeats four times. So you could get all four borders for your quilt on across from salvage to salvage. Um, and then this is the other kind of main collage print. Um, just different winter themes. You know, there's nothing necessarily Christmas on here, but it's more we've kind of played with snow and snowflakes. Um, you have a real pretty snowflake print with the gold metallic snowflakes on it. And then the other color way that it comes in is a blue, oh, look kind of blue that. with a silver nice. metallic. Yeah, it's it's really, really fun. Nice. We've um, we've been doing very well. I'm sure I think a lot of quilt stores across the country are going to be carrying this um, and doing programs with uh, um, the sampler quilt. So it should because be a good not one. Not everybody wants red and green anymore. Right. Exactly. Yeah. The blue. Um, the this blue is, is so really pretty. Looking. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it matches what your your lovely <laughs> butterfly jacket there. And so this comes out in um, in May. Is, oh, is so this one? This, that's this, perfect this, for Christmas in right. Christmas in July. Christmas program. in July, exactly. And people could actually get the quilt done maybe in time for you <laughs> know for the holidays this year. Um, we also have a fall group which is called Walk in the Woods. Um, this is also going to have a book with it, and the projects for the, that are in the book are they're doing a wall quilt. Um, a little wall quilt you could hang in your dining room, four different placemats, a table runner, uh, a napkin ring, a little applique napkin, and then some three-dimensional pumpkins which you could put on your table. So this is, this is the projects that will be in the book. Okay. And then the actual okay. fabrics are these. And there, it's a real whimsical look at fall. Oh, um, you know, it's it's real different than I, than anything else out there. I think uh -huh. um, there's a really cool wood grain print and some really nice go withs in this group. You know, which have those nice autumny colors, some real rich yeah. pumpkin colors, and the browns and the deep greens. Um, Without being Halloweenish, right? A exactly. Lot of the fall is, yeah, yeah this is just kind of a fun. Um, we've actually had quite a few comments that. Um, this kind of reminds people of Charlie Brown fall, you know, oh, something yes. about the cartooniness of it. Uh -huh. So um, uh -huh. it's, uh, it's, it's going to be a fun one. And this will be out in uh, July okay. is when this is coming into, into stores. For those of us who don't get all of our projects finished. Exactly. Yeah. That it, it'll give you a few months to get those yes. done in time yes. for maybe your Thanksgiving table yes. or yes. something. Then I guess the last thing I'll show you is we also do a collection of batiks. Oh, um, and batiks are big. Batiks are very big, in yeah. Oregon um, and this has been, uh, this is our newest collection which is coming out in stores um, in this spring. Oh my goodness. We have some really, really pretty reds. Um, for some reason, reds are very hard for the batik mills to get. I think, I don't know if it's the dye stuff they use, yeah. but we were um, really happy with these. They really worked hard to get a real rich, um, rich red color to them. Um, and so we've kind of done the whole rainbow. We have, you know, some nice golds into greens, and greens into blues. These are beautiful. Here. 
Yeah, and these were, um, the quilt behind me was made out of these. And then we also have a really nice palette of neutrals, which, um, which quilters love to be able to mix those in with the colors. And so the boutique group, we have a, actually a book that goes with that. And so this is the new book that comes with this collection. Okay, okay. So there's six different quilts, including the one behind me. And so um, quilters can pretty much make the quilts exactly as they see them, you know, because we've used these boutiques okay. in the project. So like I say, there's six different, um, six different quilts and so the book will ship with the fabric so you know stores oh, okay. can do kits or um, and you know these are just ideas quilters can obviously mix and match whatever colors they want in the patterns but it's a good starting point um, and then this one also in the back of the book there's a little there's a few pictures on how batiks are actually made which is kind of interesting you can actually see the metal chops that they make for the designs uh, but so we're real excited about this group this is our second group of batiks that we've done these are beautiful batiks. thanks yeah i appreciate it yeah they have a really lovely hand to them real soft so Thank you, Jason. Hey, it's my pleasure. Thank you for stopping by oh, and seeing our new did. collections. Yes, and, um, yes. you know, we we try. It's always new, new, new. I was looking for the newest designs. Oh, that's what we do, yeah, yes. It's very fun, yes. but uh, it's been my pleasure. Well, thank, thank you, Jason.